slowly just keeping up on the engine pro. Go on, girl. So this is my new engine X made by Engway. Um, this is a 250 watt motor bike, e-bike, and this is completely road legal. We've got some nice tawny Shimano gears down here, and we have obviously the control screen, the little knobble to change the uh, settings. It goes up to from one up to five on the settings and on the gears it goes up to seven so we've got the nice fat tires for the off-roading and this bike does fold in half very easy as well so this bike only took roughly half an hour to put together from the box and straight out of the box you can go riding it comes with two keys you have to keep the keys in while it's being operated so uh, you can always take the spare key off, keep it elsewhere just in case you do lose one. It's got a dual, sus dual suspension, some suspension here at the back and suspension here at the front, which is adjustable via the knobs here. So you can lock it, unlock it, change it over the other side there with that knob. But we always keep it locked. But yeah, this is a absolutely lovely bike. As you can see, it is exactly the same shape as my uh, Engway Engine Pro. This is just a normal model. But, uh, but yeah, a couple of lovely bikes. The seats are exactly the same. It's pretty much the same all throughout. One, one difference I have noticed is the handlebars here. They bend in rather than these ones. They do bend out. So this one feels a lot more bigger than the Engine X. But this video is all about the Engine X. It's a lovely piece of kit. If you would like to buy one, there will be a discount code in the description of this video. It comes with rear brakes, brake lights, and it's also got front lights as well. Let's see if we can get those working. There we go, that's the front light working. I don't know if I'll be able to get the, there we go, back lights working, and also the brake light. But well, we're gonna have a little go on this, see what it does, see how fast we can go. And I do know that obviously this is fixed to 15.5 miles an hour, but you can unlock the throttle, which is fixed at four miles an hour and you can go 30, 35, 40 miles an hour on it. But obviously, as the bike is, it is road legal. So you will not get pulled over by the police and they will not confiscate your bike. Let's get it on. So we are just gonna go do a few tests around this field. Um, obviously I am going downhill at the moment, but I've got the first setting of the bike switched on. And we're just gonna pedal in gear seven and straight away we're away. No effort at all, and we're already doing 12, 13 miles an hour. But what we're gonna do is, there's a bit of a, a hill here. So we'll probably up it to the second one. Up to the second one, and we are going up this hill very easily at 11 miles an hour. We're going to go to the third one, a lot more torque, obviously not going to need much more than the third one because it's at the limiter, so it cuts out at 15.5 miles per hour, but if you go to five, it just gives you a bit more torque, mainly for getting up hills. Turn around because there's a dog, so yeah, straight away. You pedal away without any effort, you're straight up to the limit. Absolutely amazing bike, so easy to ride, so comfortable to ride as well, and it just seems so effortless. These bikes 
are an amazing piece of kit. We are now going to try the uh, the throttle which is now unlocked on this Engway Engine X and we are in the first mode. Let's see how it goes. Straight from pull off, no pedalling. Seventeen, 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 up to number two. Bit of a hill there. Twenty, twenty one. I probably could have gone faster, but there's people around. So we're going to go. Number three. Number three, straight up to 20 mile an hour. 23 mile an hour. And we're gonna go all the way up to number five. I think number five is gonna absolutely fly. Let's go. Yeah, this is fast. We're up to 23, 26. I can't go any faster. Let's see how we do uphill. Fourteen, fifteen, fifteen mile an hour uphill. That is insane. This, I think this is actually probably faster than the uh, Engine Pro. Especially for acceleration and top speed. It's pretty insane, man. I'm struggling to get over 24 mile an hour though because of where we are. See what we can do. Bit of a hill. Lumpy and bumpy. <whistles> Pretty impressive, man. To disable or enable the throttle on this bike all you need to do is when it's turned on hold the plus and minus and you should come up with this menu keep holding it for about 10-15 seconds and then hold the plus button and you should see some sort of change in the uh, blinking there we go it changed there let go and the throttle it's still on <laughs> and it didn't work so we'll try again we'll turn turn it off turn it back on hold the plus and minus together we'll hold it for a little bit longer this time The blinking change there. But we'll keep holding it down, and then we'll hold the plus button. There we go, and now it's limited to 25 miles per hour again. We turn the bike off. Turn the bike back on. As you can see, there is throttle, but only the four mile an hour throttle. 
and that is slow. That is me twisting it all the way, look. But then not until you pedal. You get the pedal assist and not the throttle. As you can see, I am pedaling now. But yeah, it's pretty insane that uh, the throttle on this bike, I am quite impressed with it. The other half's gonna be riding this bike back, so we're gonna be keeping the throttle off because she's a slightly nervous of going too far.